What is up everybody, this is Ambulance Boy, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play I'm Gonna Love Her For Both Of Us by Meatloaf. This is actually one of my favorite songs from him, so I decided to do a piano tutorial about it. No, I haven't come out with one for a while. So, like with my other tutorials, this one's going to be split into separate parts. So, in this part, we're just going to be learning the intro. Then in later parts, the verse, the pre-chorus, and then the chorus, and then the bridge as well. So if you guys know the song, you probably recognize the intro, which goes like this. Then it jumps up here. So that's what we're going to be learning in this video. So. If you have an 88 key piano or keyboard, it's going to actually be starting down here. And when you watch the music video, the piano player is actually playing it with two hands. And I personally like playing it with two hands because it just like it feels more like emotional, I guess. But later on in the song, when you're throwing in the right hand, you're going to be just playing octaves with the left hand. So I'm going to be showing you guys both the two-handed technique as well as um, just the octaves. So if you guys are going to notice, the piano ends with an A key. All the way down here is an A. But you're also going to be playing an A flat. So the way you overcome that is you play the A flat with your right hand, but just skip it with the left hand and then just keep going. And so it's a little bit less awkward. We're going to just film up here. So I'm just going to show you the right hand first, then we're going to throw in the left hand. So you're going to be having your thumb on A, and the keys are going to be A, A flat, A, B, C sharp, D, wait, sorry. D, B sharp, C sharp, E, D, B, and A. So again, Now you're actually going to be playing some of those notes two times, which is going to be the A twice and the D twice. So that's going to sound like this. Two. One, two. Now let's learn the left hand. So this is going to be down here, but we're just going to be playing it up here. So everything past this A is cut off, so we're not going to be playing this. And how that's going to work is... So what's nice about the left hand is you're not really crossing any fingers over one another. So it's much easier. So together that's going to be... how that works. Now after you get past that part, you're going to be playing just the octaves with the left hand. So it's exactly the same notes, you're just going to be playing with octaves. So just get used to jumping around. So 
So that's pretty much what the whole song is going to be. It's just going to be following that pattern with just the octaves, and you don't really have to worry about doing any of this stuff unless you want to. But the song pretty much stays like this the whole time. So if you can get that pattern down with the left hand, then you're all set for the whole song pretty much. So now after we get past this part, Then we're going to be jumping up here. So we already got the left hand, let's get rid of that. Let's focus on this right hand here. So we're going to be playing just an A major chord. So here's the middle C, it's going to be right here. So how this is going to work is it's just going to be A twice, then we're going to move here, which is just moving the pointer finger from this C sharp to a D. And then we're going to go back here. So that's like... Then we're going to go back again. then to a D, but invert it down here, and then to an E, and with the E, you can either do it with your pinky, or you can do it with uh, your ring finger, I just do it with my pinky because it's already there, and uh, so how that works, is you're going to be just doing this E chord, invert it down here, then you're going to be playing an A, then a B. So again, so all together, that's then sometimes if you want, you can just throw an A in again. Then the A again. And then for the ending of the intro, it's going to just go E, D, then B, D, and E, then back to an A. So that's going to go. So with, when you're playing that, you can actually sometimes even just play full octaves with the middle in. So instead of doing this, you can do this. And then to the D. I like doing that. Also, you can play it like this. that's pretty much, you're just playing the chords like this, but you're just doing this with the thumb moving it again and again. So you can do that if you want, that pattern just going to be. So. So you can do that too if you want. So together with the left hand and the right hand, that's going to sound like this. Let's just take it slow so you guys can uh, see how it works out.
keep playing that A. Um, you're just doing this. Sorry about that, I keep messing up there. That's how that's gonna look. With the uh, the actual recording, it's a little bit different. The syncopation is a little bit different. It sometimes does this. So if uh, you want to do that um, after you get this down just doing it together then you can even do that yourself if you want um, that's a little bit harder so I would suggest just getting it down um, the more simple way and it still gets the whole sound and feeling across so either way works um, and yeah so after we're done with this then we're doing it again going to be doing the ending, which is just the regular E, then D, then this, and then A. So, all together, that will be So that's pretty much how the intro is going to look, um, and yeah, so hopefully I will be coming out with the rest of it pretty soon, and if you liked this video and found it informative, uh, please like and subscribe and leave in the comments below what you thought, hopefully they're good comments, and yeah, so I'll see you guys later.